the volcano that stole summer and sparked human resilience. In April 1815, a mountain in Indonesia ripped itself apart. Mount Tambora's eruption was so loud, it was heard 2,000 kilometers away. Ash shot into the sky, blotting out the sun. No one in Europe or America had ever seen Tambora, but by the next year, they would feel its shadow. The summer of 1816 never came. June frosts killed corn in New England. Families huddled in thin blankets while snowflakes fell in July. In Europe, wheat fields failed, leading to bread riots. Farmers slaughtered their livestock because they couldn't feed them. Hunger gnawed, tempers flared, and migration soared. And yet in the gloom, sparks of resilience flickered. In Switzerland, a group of young writers trapped indoors by relentless cold passed the time with ghost stories. One of them, a teenager named Mary Shelley, began writing Frankenstein. Across the Atlantic, the shortage of oats for horses inspired tinkering with two-wheeled walking machines, the ancestor of the bicycle. Ordinary people, too, found ways to endure, saving seeds, sharing food, leaning on neighbors. Tambora's ash cloud was a global wound, but it also revealed something profound. When nature pulls the rug from under us, humans stumble, but we also invent, imagine, and survive. The year without a summer reminds us that resilience is not just enduring, it's turning darkness into possibility.